Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video we're talking about Wall Street embracing cryptocurrency. There's a lot of negative news going around, we're in a bear market so I wanted to share with you some positive news to make you feel good about holding Bitcoin. But let's get into this video. Finally, over the last few months, major Wall Street firms have been getting in on the crypto action. Goldman Sachs is set to launch its own Bitcoin trading operation, and reports are out just today that Fidelity is now looking to bulk up on hiring personnel for crypto projects and possibly build its own digital asset exchange. These steps will likely lend added credibility to the realm of crypto. Now, coming up, very... So these are not going to be short-term... Um, the short term massive price changes in Bitcoin, but in the long term, guys, these are going to have massive effect. If more and more talented people are leaving traditional industry, financial industry, and coming into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency industry, it's only going to help. A or, or lot of the major crypto, crypto projects and crypto coins are looking for blockchain trade, uh, blockchain coders who are experienced in cryptocurrency and blockchain they're looking to recruit people in marketing like Binance so if more and more people are coming to the industry longer term it's gonna have a positive effect so if you are bullish on Bitcoin long term please huddle guys short term it, with more FUD more need, more bad news we, we might even go lower but if you believe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency longer term please huddle so let's look at some articles which talks about some of the things that, that video talked about Bitcoin sees Wall Street warm to trading virtual currency so it talks about guys that Wall Street is warming up to Bitcoin New York Stock Exchange has been working on an online platform Goldman Sachs went public with its intention to open Bitcoin trading unit these two very very big players in this industry are looking into Bitcoin although they're still worried about the, specul the speculative nature of this industry people big big dogs are looking at it we've heard about George Soros Tim Draper so big big dogs are coming into Bitcoin Bitcoin was originally created to kind of get rid of all the banks but we could work together and it could be a stepping stone towards a more decentralized future and um, Chicago Mercantile Exchange have already created financial products linked to the price of Bitcoin ICE had conversations with other financial institutions about setting up a new operations through which banks can buy a contract known as swap so they're looking into loads of financial products guys Coinbase is doing it massively bigger bigger uh, players are looking into it as well there's so much money to be made guys in um, coinbase and binance made a lot more money compared to some of the really experienced financial industries players in america who've, who've been there around the world for ages and not still not making up making as much money as binance and coinbase have made on fees so these big dogs want to get into making some money so long term guys if they didn't believe in bitcoin and cryptocurrency they wouldn't be spending so much money in building this infrastructure and um, nasdaq adina fredman um, also talked about bitcoin in a positive light if there's regulatory certainty Although there's Warren Buffett and few people not talking about uh, Bitcoin in a great, a great manner because of the it doesn't answer the basic question of the value being added. But I believe you know, Bit Warren Buffett is not that knowledgeable on Bitcoin. I respect him. I know I respect him. I've learned a lot from him, but he shouldn't be commenting on something that he doesn't know that much about because he says that he only wants to talk about things he likes and he missed out on a lot of the tech projects. So I wouldn't take that too seriously, although I'm a massive Bitcoin fan. Sorry, I'm a massive Warren Buffett fan. I'm not going to take his comment on Bitcoin as strongly. So the reason we get into crypto was not to partner with a bank, but to replace them. But what I like to say is it could be a stepping stone rather than saying we're going to get to that level straight away. So the interest in Bitcoin illustrates the, how the reputational reputation of virtual currency has after a rocky start improved. 
we've talked about ICE considering a uh, swap contract swap contracts linked to Bitcoin it could be creating something to do with ether if there's more regulatory certainty so we're at a difficult stage now guys with regulatory certainty all this big institutional money will be coming in so if you believe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and if you believe this regulatory uncertainty will get sorted guys invest in Bitcoin and this institutional big money will be coming in and we will I don't like saying it but we will be going to the moon she talks about uh, the industry is seeing an unprecedented institutional interest for the first time in Bitcoin's history. I've been amazed that strongest believers in cryptocurrency often start out the most sceptical. It's a healthy scepticism, but at some point, this per the perception shifts. And for many institutions, I think we are finally here. So for, uh, finally, a few more things. Crypto King and Bart Smith, he's talked about Bitcoin in a positive light, guys. He's talked about dedicated team and traders involved in Bitcoin trading. And he talks about regulations not being the end of the world. Regulation certainty, like what read in the article and, and watching the video, regulatory certainty will help more institutional money come in so regulatory certainty is not the end of the world clarity will allow institutional money to come in more than anything else because institutions don't like to invest into un uncertainty so we are just taking the most conservative approach that we can and they've been advo advocating etfs we think it checks it, it checks a lot of the boxes for regulatory certainty specifically as it relates to uh, uh, retail investors and it t checks a lot of boxes for institutional customers as far as custody taxation and anti-money laundering uh, and know your clients come in nyc so as you can see guys with this regulatory uncertainty guys if, if as that regulatory uncertainty goes away there's going to be lots of lots of money coming in so if you like i keep saying guys if you believe in bitcoin and cryptocurrency do huddle or invest in bitcoin and cryptocurrency Again, this article talks about the regulatory uncertainty and regulations will give more investor confidence. And I'm not a massive fan of John McAfee's uh, kind of credibility and his personality. I'm not going to comment on that. But if you, like I have said, if you believe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, guys, this this John McAfee guy is making made a kind of a good point. I tweeted about this as well. Institutional investors are preparing to enter the cryptocurrency market with a vengeance. They're generally long term investors and will be pumping billions into the market. Expect the top 10 coins to go through the roof fairly quickly. The bulk of altcoins will follow soon. I tend to agree with that, although I don't care, don't like his personality. You might not like him as a person. He has made a good point, and I believe in what he has said there. If you haven't subscribed, if you don't follow me on Twitter, guys, follow me on Twitter at Rockstar Crypto. I fairly regular on there guys I post about trading signals, updated news, and the whole lot, guys. So if you want to stay up to date guys follow me at rockstar crypto on twitter so guys finally i'd like to end with my favorite guy tom lee he made a predictions of 225k by end of the year uh, for 2018 is still in play and some of the things you talk about is the money that coinbase and uh, binance are making on fees will make other in big big players like Goldman Sachs come in because they want a piece of that and Robert Schlumer from Fronstat also saying that Bitcoin might be bottoming out and we might be in a reversal I'm not too sure about that guys it might go up leg down but long term I'm massively bullish on Bitcoin so hope this video will make you feel slightly better if you're holding Bitcoin and you see your portfolio going down think longer term guys unless you're a trader a day trading think longer term and if you believe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency huddle and and buy more if you can but please do your own research before buying this buying more bitcoin and cryptocurrency so thank you very much for watching guys i want to share with you this positive news here's to make you feel better if you've been huddling bitcoin so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel it takes a lot of time to do these videos so i hope, hope you guys appreciate it and share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, or just word them out. So thank you very much, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.